It was a day Scotland decided its direction, short term and long. Two votes for constituency and region at this election, with a referendum possibly at journey's end. I voted for Greens and the Lib Dems, Alex Clark Hamilton. Why? Because I don't want the SNP to get in. I voted SNP. Um, why? Because um, I think they've done a really good job over the last year at COVID and personally I'd like to see the decision making brought closer. Nicola. Why? I think she's done a great job throughout the pandemic. Definitely a liberal, yeah. Why? To keep out the SNP. Morning. Right, quick. You're going to give me a few years yet, though. Hello, Sheka. It's Nicola Sturgeon here. You hold it. Or I kneel down because I'm a bit scared of dogs. Nicola Sturgeon displayed her fear of dogs as she engaged with voters in her Glasgow Southside constituency. It wasn't her only challenge on the street. In the midst of positive interactions with members of the public, she was confronted by a rival candidate, convicted racist Jada Franson. You're a fascist, you are a racist, and the South Side of Glasgow will reject you. Of course they will. Even the SNP's opponents acknowledge it will be the largest party. The question is how large. An overall majority in the next Holyrood Parliament would strengthen the platform for a second independent referendum. It's important because of the signal it sends about what Scots want. And that signal is also important in terms of how it strengthens the hand of any first minister who then turns to the UK government and says, right, well, on the back of this, we want to hold another referendum. There's a building that sits high in the centre of Edinburgh that was refurbished to accommodate a Scottish parliament in 1979. Only it wasn't delivered by a devolution referendum then. Its chamber never did welcome the parliament it was designed for. 42 years on, they've been using it to store the kit for a COVID-safe voting exercise, one that could steer Scotland towards yet further constitutional change. At this election, in the parliament that does do devolution, the question is, what does it do next? Now, normally there would be an overnight count, of course, but because of COVID, COVID precautions, that's not happening this time. Counts will be slower, more protracted. They will take place, they will start to take place tomorrow morning and will last for two days. We should know the results of this Scottish election by Saturday evening. And the numbers are important. If Nicola Sturgeon is to go to Boris Johnson in time and in the context of constitutional change, demand a second independence referendum, then to do so as the leader of a party with a majority inside the Holyrood Parliament, that strengthens her hand considerably. This election is about the event itself, of course, but it's very much about the events that follow.